What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and this time I'm gonna be taking on the less than heroic Tempest trial with this team featuring Dorcas. So he's a 40 person bonus unit and I've got a standard skill set with reposition and distant defense and then I've got my arm. He isn't really used as much compared to other Falchion users but he does have a niche and chain challenges and Tempest trial as a passive healer. So with Falchion and Renewal he can heal himself and then pass off the HP to Dorcas with Reciprocal 8 and he's minus attack plus speed. I got 2 minus attack arm but at least this one is plus speed. And then I've got my minus speed Delthea, so that's why I've got a death blow and landsbreaker set instead of a life and death and desperation set. And she can provide the dark aura and drive attack support to all of my other units. And at last I've got a death blow brave axe plus Camilla, as I haven't really used her too much in my videos. So let's begin with the lunatic map, and I'll try to get the max score of 705. So here we have got Pala, Fear, Lissa, and Athena. Okay. So even though these are red units, Dorcas is easily going to be able to take on these units. So this Tempest Trial is fairly difficult compared to other ones because the maps are not really very nice. Uh, especially the maps which you face near the end. And then we have got Brave Ike as the boss who's just insane. And Dorcas is going to take out one of that red unit. Um... He can take out Lissa or attempt to take out Lissa and then Delphia can attack Pala and take her out. Brave Ike as a boss is just so insane because of his Irvon. Of course. And the inflated stats just make him such a hard boss to take out. Not to mention he can also heal himself with uh, Aether. Alright, so yeah. So we can use reposition. So that's why reposition is really good on flyers because you can yeah. reposition our allies across lava, bridges, and even mountains. Camilla used to be like such a good green unit when skill didn't come out. And she was considered to be one of the best axe units in the game. I remember. So let's take out Leo. Delphia. Let's make this quick. I really like Delphia actually because of her Dark Aura tome. And in a few days, even Lint is going to be having access to Dark Aura. Alright, so... Dorcas can easily take on Sonia. Yeah, so Sakura is going to be doing 5 damage. And... Yeah, so Sonia is going to be completely taken out by Dorcas. He's really good. Dorcas is definitely one of the best bonus units that you can have because of his distant counter and his bulk. And then I guess the second one would be Brave Roy? Or no, no, actually, uh, Brave Ike is probably the second best one because he also gets the bonus stats. And he can be just as insane as the final boss of this Tempest Trial. Okay, so Sakura has pretty much Leave it to me. gone to this corner. All right. I really like Arm as a Lord, but unfortunately he's not really that good in Fire Emblem Heroes. Like compared to other Falchion users, everyone is just better than him. Krom does not even have to rely on Falchion, he has got his Brave Star Plus set, which is his best set. What I can do is actually just do this and I can just heal up Dorcas with arm and use reposition and then Dorcas is going to be taking on all of these units or actually only Noe so yeah so Krom has got his uh, Rave Sword set which is his best set and then Marth and Lucina are just much better Falchion user. Lucina is definitely the best one because of her offensive stats. All right. Yeah, so Camilla can kill Hector, but the thing is that she's going to be really low on health. So that that's not going to be too nice. Um I guess what I can do is just use reposition. Next? But then Actually, I can just stay here. Of course. Yeah. 
Dorcas is gonna be able to take on all of these units. Yeah, so Hector is gonna be going down actually. The next turn. Tana is going to go down any single hit. Tana actually got a really nice buff with the close defense Sacred Seal. So not only she can get plus 7 defense from her Vidofnir, but if you run something like Fortress Defense or... Okay, Delphi actually takes out Hector. So if you run something like Fortress Defense or Close Defense on her slot 8, then you can also stack that up with Close Defense Sacred Seal. And that is just so good. It's amazing. Got it. Okay, so let's reposition Camilla, and she can take out Roderick. Say night -night. Camilla was regarded as one of the best Axe units at the beginning of the game because there weren't really any good uh, Axe units at that time. Hector was definitely one, but after Hector, I would say that Minerva and Camilla were the best ones. Camilla also had pretty nice uh, mixed bulk at that time, so that's why she was pretty nice unit. Yeah, so Dorcas can even take on red units pretty easily. That's why I think that he's definitely the best unit, best bonus unit. And now, oh, wow. So, I guess I cannot really even heal up. Minerva has got Axe Breaker, so I have to watch out for that. Alright, so this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking out this Roy. It's pretty sad that Roy didn't get a buff with Weapon Refinery. He got robbed out of his Binding Blade. Even Zephiel. <laughs> okay, so... We can take out Lucas and... Minerva? Yeah, Minerva goes down to Camilla. But then after Skinnerton's... Uh, Players could use Shershi, and Shershi was so easy to get because she could also appear as a 3-star unit. And you just slap Brave Axe on her, and she would be much better than Camilla. When it comes to doing the offensive role, nowadays Camilla's best set is definitely the Emerald Axe DC set. Um, which people use in tier 20 arena. Alright, so we have got so many red units. Why? <laughs> Do you guys know that I was going to pick Dorcas as my bonus unit? So we have to take on so many red units. Um, wow. Okay, so... Let's just heal up Dorcas for a bit. And then I can attack Inara with... Uh... Oh wow, you actually do not die. So I need to give Delthea the own attack bonus. Then... He'll be able to take out the Sonata. I have to take out the Sonata because he's got Ruby Sword. So because of that, Dorcas cannot really do anything against Sonata. Plus Sonata is just so bulky. What's next? Okay, I can use Reposition. And then we can just wait, I guess. For these red units to approach us. These are really strong red units. Marth, Ike, Krom. Krom can do a lot of damage. He's got Poison Strike actually. Okay, so we can attack Marth. You do not go down, unfortunately. Um, I can just attack. What do you have? Sword Breaker. Okay, you have Sword Breaker. Heavy Blade. Hun attack. Okay, we can attack Marth. Do some damage to him. And then Dorcas can just take him out. And we've got the attack smoke on, uh, on Ike. Yeah, so Dorcas is going to be able to take on Ike. I'm making it home alive. Yeah, he actually took out Ike. So we have to heal him up all the way back. Uh, Krom... Yeah. Krom is definitely a problem. He does double Dorcas 29 times 2. That's so much. Okay, I'll have to wait for Delphia, I guess. So we'll wait for Krom to approach us, and then we can take him out with Delthea. Or attempt to take him out. Alright. 
these guys and their inflated HP. Okay, so Camilla took out Krom, and now we move on to the sixth map. These kinds of maps are not really very fun to um, battle on. So Dorcas can definitely take on Shershi and Felicia pretty easily. And then we can just wait here. Delphia can take on Karel and Oboro. Oh my god, so many rallies <laughs> on Shershi. I'll do whatever it takes. I'm actually really excited for the weapon refinery function, which is gonna be coming out soon. Yeah, Felicia does zero damage. Do it if it makes units like Jafar really, really good, it would be so awesome. It definitely makes Celeph a lot better, that's for sure, because Divine Tear Thing is such a good weapon. See ya. So, okay, we got the attack smoke on him. What's next? Well, we can move back with Dorcas, heal him up for a bit of HP. Uh, Camilla, yeah, Camilla can take out Karel after the chip damage. Yes. You've been not. Why is Karel on the uh, Moonbow banner? Not, not even the Moonbow. The Units with powerful specials banner. They could have put Athena. Athena is a million times better unit than Karel. Okay, so we have got Nephni Ennis. This is actually pretty good because we have got. Yeah, this is this is definitely good for me because we have got Nephni and Ennis, two units who Dorcas can just smash, and then we have got Brave Ike. Brave Ike. Um, Arm can definitely take on Brave Ike, and Ray is gonna get taken care of by Delphia. I think I'm just gonna be putting Dorcas here. Uh, actually here. Yeah, so Arm is gonna be healing up 20 HP. We can heal up Good. Dorcas All right. quite a lot. Um, I really want to put Delphia in the range of Ray, but... Give me an order. I really need to give Dorcas the... Actually, I could just do this. Yeah, Hone attack support is fine. So we can just put Delthea over here. So that Ray can attack her. And we can put Dorcas all the way here. But before that, I think we need to heal him up for a bit. Give me an order. Leave it to me. For 8 HP and... Alright. Let's put Camilla here. Okay, so Ray's gonna be going down next time. And Delphia has got her special ready, so that's gonna be pretty good. Wow, Nephni completely gets annihilated by Dorcas. Oh wow, that did a lot. Yeah, Ines does the Oh wow, I actually do 49 damage. Exactly, that's so good. I'm so happy Dorcas is actually in the game, but what the hell is up with this weapon? A legendary weapon on Dorcas? That's just too much. Um. Okay, so we could definitely put... Um, of course. Hmm. 19 times 2, what? You're... okay. You've got the... Spur speed and... Yeah, All you've right. got the spur speed bonus, right. that's why. So let's take out Ray first, and then Arm um, can easily take on Ike after the attack smoke debuff. 18 damage, we do 18 damage, okay, that is fine. This ends here. Okay, so now I can do some chip damage to Ike. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be a deathless run because Luca is in the back to destroy our units. Got the attack smoke on him. What's next? All right. Okay, what is up with this? Okay, I do 21 damage. Okay, that's good. But I'm pretty sure Luke is gonna be able to do a lot to right. Um. So I'm just gonna take out Ike. 
All right, and now let's see if Luke takes out Am. Um, Twenty, yeah, Am um is gonna go down. This was unfortunately not a deathless run, but still, I'm gonna be getting the max score. So let's use Delphia to take out Luke. She's gonna be finishing this off. Actually, Delphia should have been on the legendary summon banner instead of Spring Xander. I'm not really sure why would you have Spring Xander on a legendary hero summon banner. Delthea would have been a much better candidate. Like her dark aura tome buff is just so good. Why put Spring Xander? Bright Cheetah is whatever. I guess she's a limited unit. So that's why you wanted to put her, but there is no reason why you would put Spring Xander. Everyone wants the normal Xander, not the Spring Xander. So yeah, I think that Delphia would have been really good unit to have on the Legendary Hero Summon banner. So I got the max score of 705 using this Dorcas team with Am, um, Delphia, and Camilla. All of these units actually put in a lot of work, but the least amount of work I think was put in by Camilla. But she still did reposition a lot of units here and there. So in the next episode, I think I'm going to be featuring loot. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe as well so that you do not miss out on future Fire Emblem Heroes content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.